The Cinco G2 wireless lavalier microphones allow users to easily capture up to two subject voices on camera, as well as with a phone, computer, or portable audio recorder. The microphone kit will include one receiver, two transmitters, two lavalier microphones, one stereo mini to stereo mini cable for connecting to a camera or audio recorder, one stereo mini to TRRS cable for connecting to a mobile device or a computer, and a three-in-one USB-C charging cable. Charge the transmitters and receiver by connecting them to the three-in-one charging cable via the USB-C ports on their sides. First, clip on the included lavalier microphone to a subject's shirt or collar. The ideal placement is between the top buttons of their shirt or, if needed, on their collar. Hide the cable by running it down the front or back of the subject's shirt. Power on the transmitter by pressing and holding the power button located on the left side. If the transmitter shows the icon of the microphone with a slash through it, this means the mic is muted. Quickly press the power button to unmute the mic. Connect the end of the lavalier mic cable to the mic input jack on the transmitter. The subject can clip the transmitter onto a pocket or waistband or place it in their lap if they will be sitting. Power on the receiver by pressing and holding down the power button on the left side. The Cinco G2 mics can record in either stereo mode or mono mode. Mono mode will be used for most recordings. Set the recording mode to mono by quickly pressing the power button until it displays mono. Stereo mode is an advanced mode for cameras or audio recorders discussed later in this video. On the right side are the gain control buttons, which can allow you to adjust the recording volume. For cameras or audio recorders, it's recommended to set the gain control to zero and then use the device's gain controls to set the recording volume. For mobile devices like phones or tablets, you'll want to do a test recording to determine the ideal gain setting. Connect the stereo mini to stereo mini cable to the output jack on the top of the receiver. Connect the other end of this cable into the mic input of the device you are recording to. If using a camera, you can attach the mic clip to the cold shoe mount of the camera. Monitor your audio using headphones connected to the camera or other recording device. If your device doesn't have a headphone jack, you can connect headphones to the receiver via the headphone jack on the top. If you wish to use the mics with a computer, you'll need to connect the receiver to the computer with the Stereo Mini to TRRS cable instead of the Curly cable. The angled end of this cable with the two black rings will connect to the wireless receiver, and the straight end with the three black rings will connect into the audio port of the computer. If you wish to record to a mobile device that does not have an audio port, you'll need to request an additional adapter when checking out this kit. Devices that use USB-C ports, such as Android devices, will need a USB-C to TRRS adapter. Some Apple devices will need a Lightning to TRRS adapter. Just as with the computer or tablet, the end of the cable with the two black rings will connect to the receiver, and the end with the three black rings will connect to the adapter, which then connects to your device. Stereo mode is an advanced mode for cameras and audio recorders that allows for recording two subjects and to be able to edit and mix each speaker's voice 
independently. On the receiver, quickly press the power button to toggle into stereo mode. When recording in stereo mode, one speaker will be recorded in the left channel and the other will be recorded in the right channel. When done recording, you'll need to split this stereo file into two separate mono files. For a video recording edited in Adobe Premiere, first import the file, but before placing it onto a timeline, in the project panel, right click on that file and select Modify Audio Channels. Change the clip channel format from stereo to mono. Change the number of audio clips to two. Then press OK. Now, when this video clip is placed onto the timeline, the audio will be placed as two separate mono files, allowing for independent editing. For an audio recording, open the file in Audacity. Select the track name and then choose Split Stereo to Mono. Select the track names and then select Name to rename each track after the speaker. Then go to File, Export, Multiple. Choose a location for the files. Set split files based onto tracks. Set name files to using label slash track name. Select Export. You now have each speaker's recording as a unique file.